BPB's Music Meta 2017 coverage is sponsored by Plugin Boutique, the place for music plugins. Yeah, welcome. My name is Stefan Schmidt. Uh, welcome at the, the booth at, of Nonlinear Labs. It's a small company from Berlin. It's our first time here on Music Messe and we are showing uh, the C15. It's um, our first hardware product and uh, it's a kind of a synthesizer but uh, quite specialized and quite uh, with a radical concept that we're addressing mainly uh, the, the players the, the ones that really want to play with both hands in real time and we give them a very valuable instrument or so you see the wooden house housing it is made in uh, Germany and Italy and uh, we are developing the, the sound engine ourselves it's a, it's a digital sound engine um, it's um, ex based on the experience of many years of developing plugins but this instrument is Standalone, it's self-contained. It contains all the necessary components to make music. And as you see, it has two parts. The upper part can be removed. It is a, a control unit, and the lower part is where you play on. So you, you, what you have here is a very nice uh, high-end uh, keybed from Fatar. We can connect up to four pedals, which is really important to change uh, the sound while you're playing. And uh, we have two ribbons that allow also to, to vary the sound in different ways. Also, you can touch the ribbon somewhere or you move your hand for, um, for a change. We have a specially designed uh, pitch bender or bender for anything and it's also reacting to aftertouch. So it is about uh, organic sound, acoustic sounding uh, uh, presets and, and, and uh, creations and it's about playing expressively. So the most important thing is to have the velocity, uh, very high resol highly, highly resolved velocity um, from this keypad to play very many nuances or a wide range of nuances. Would be interesting to show you the, the sound engine. It is based on a very puristic, simple structure, only two sine wave oscillators. Uh, the signals can be shaped by wave shapers and the sine wave oscillators can phase modulate each other so you get kind of FM uh, spectra from it. This can be filtered by a state variable filter. This is very flexible, you, yeah, multi-mode filter. And uh, most more interesting is the comp filter, which is a resonator that can be used for physical modeling and uh, sounds that sound very acoustic. And uh, there is another, uh, the, the other parts are yeah, connecting this unit. So it's about a, an elegant connection of very simple units, uh, only a few units. And uh, we don't have any switches in there, so you cannot exchange the filter by another filter or the effect by another effect or, or waveforms. Everything is, has to be programmed by, by the sound designer to work together in a way that it creates uh, interesting sounds. So listening just to the sine wave, gets to a sawtooth if I do some self-modulation. Could be like a brass sound. Adding some effect. So that's just showing what I can do with one oscillator only. And uh, so if we, have, if we use more oscillators, we can get uh, yeah, sounds that are more like metallic. I, I don't have enough time to, to show this in <laughs> from, from scratch, but we can use, for example, this FM type of synthesis. To get uh, piano sounds. strong field that we get in uh, if we use uh, the comp filter is uh, the kind of guitar or clavinet sounds
You see, uh, I, I use uh, the bender for creating uh, something like vibrato. Lavinets. With some more effect on it. Let's see. The structure allows to get feedback. But the not, um, this uh, physical modeling can also be used for doing something like trumpets or, or flutes or so. Let's try some uh, organ. And uh, let's see, filter driven sounds. I prefer to use my feet if I want to change a uh, cutoff or something like that. Um, some nice uh, lead sounds. And the uh, synth pads. You get large sounds like this one. Of course, there's a strong reverb <laughs> producing this. Uh, talking about reverb, uh, for example, I can use my my foot uh, on the on the same pedal just to increase the size of the room. And now let's go to uh, the last uh, examples on the sound effect domain. You hear these feedback effects there also. said there are no LFOs, so not, not, no automatic control. Either the engine reacts to what I'm playing and what I'm doing with my feet or with my hand, but there's no automatic control in there that creates some shapes or so. It's, uh, it's done by the audio engine just by oscillation and feedback. <laughs> 